Hi everybody, AJ with Car Inspected. Today we're in uh, outside of Hamilton area. We're looking at this 1968 Ford Torino S-Code 390 with a C6 transmission. Nice car overall. Pretty original. It's from California. It's been here for, I believe, about 10 years or so. Underneath, I don't see any major rot or rust or anything like that. Not much at all. Very good condition. It's had a repaint and some body work. Again, nothing too major. Paint looks pretty good. There's a couple of spots here and there. Some, some lifting, some bubblies. Paint job is pretty good. Body work is pretty decent. A couple of nicks and little tiny things, but overall, it presents pretty well. Chip in the door. Rockers are all solid. Doors are solid. You can see a little bit of body work in the door here. In the quarters, but again, it's not too bad. Another little bubble there in the driver's side door. Little orange peel but as you can see for the most part it's fairly straight I said I believe it was just a body quick body job and repaint you can tell that it's not bad chrome looks pretty good looks to be original front bumper a couple of minor things a little fading here as to be expected for the age though all the other trim does appear to be original and presents pretty well for its age. Some of the aluminum is a little, but looks pretty good for the most part. Well, that's just some wet. We just took it for a drive and it does run and drive very nicely. Quiet, a lot, a lot of squeaks or rattles, anything like that. The engine runs strong, the transmission shifts just as strong. Here's this rear trim. There's a couple of uh, sander marks on the glass here. But the stainless trim all looks pretty good. No major issues. Chrome trim here appears to be original. Slight pitting, but nothing too major. All the rear trim, rear bumper, again, presents very well. Doesn't really show much wear and tear. May have been rechromed at one point. That's a little, little dented up, that rear piece of trim there. But for the most part, it looks good. Look at the wheels and tires. It does have aftermarket wheels on it. 17 inch. They are pretty new. These were made in uh, 2015. They have about 7.30 seconds of tread on them. They look pretty good. Front is an original disc brake car. And they look pretty good. Pads are decent. I'd say there's probably about 45% left, percent left, 45-50%. While we're here, we'll look underneath. You'll see the photos, but it is nice and clean under here. We had it up on the lift so you can see better photos. Uh, it does have a little bit of an oil leak, which you'll see, again, you'll see in the photos. Not much, just a little dribble. Might be a rear main seal. Go around here. And again, matching 2015, about 7.30 seconds of tread. Uh, eight, maybe, maybe eight, sorry. Eight or nine, I think they were all were. But they are matching aftermarket rims. And again, rotors look good, pads look good. Treads look nice and even, no signs of misalignment or any issues like that. Look underneath here, you see, it does pretty solid. Don't see any real issues. There's one little tiny pinhole in the floor below where your foot goes for the accelerator. 
I took a picture of that. A little dent on the rock right there. But it's not too bad at all. Rear tires are matching to the front and do have a decent amount of tread left. Uh, again, I think there's about 7 30 seconds or so. And this final real tire. Again, matches looks pretty good. 2015. No issues. Looks pretty nice. Look at the interior. Interior appears to be all original, unrestored. Door panels look nice, present well for their age. Little chips here and there. But the bottom of the doors, no rust, patches or rot, anything like that. All the seams look nice and clean. Here is a VIN verification, and I'll show you the one on the windshield. And it is original interior, and it looks as such. But there's no rips or tears or any issues. Seats are nice and comfortable sitting in them. There's a little bit of a rip there. I know I just said there's none, but there is a little bit there. And separating there. But for the most part, it looks pretty nice. Carpets look good. Seat belts. Lap belts are there. He said he has the shoulder belts, which would go up here, but they are not in the vehicle. Pedals look good. The horn ring on the steering wheel does not work. So this button is the horn. Oil pressure was sitting at about 75. Idling, it was nice. You see pictures of that. Dash pad looks pretty good for an original unit. No major cracks or anything like that in it. It looks pretty good. Gauges. Reads 35,729 miles. Again, dashboard looks good. It does have a clock in it. This is the wrong clock. Uh, this would be a 69 clock. That's why that is silver and the rest are black. Uh, originally was not a car with a clock option. He does have the original gauge. The original blackout that was there. Console looks pretty good. It all seems to work. No major issues there. Look at the back seat. Rear carpet is good. Your seat looks nice. No major issues. Headliner looks good. I don't see any rips. Or anything like that looks very nice a little bit of a uh, little damage there we'll go to the passenger side store panel presents well Door again, no signs of. Sorry, my phone's having trouble focusing here. There you go. Their bottoms look pretty good, as well as the jams. All look pretty nice. A little bit of rip on this armrest here from age. A couple of dents on this trim. Not at all, looks pretty good, otherwise. Rear seat on this side also looks nice, with no rips or anything like that. Dash on the passenger side looks good. Again, it's not cracked or anything like that, it looks very nice. Glove box opens as it should, with original instruction stickers, as well as a... Thanks, up. As well as the uh, owner's manual. Hi. Hi. <laughs> See, passenger seat. Looks pretty good. No rips or tears. Anything like that. 
to grab the keys and look in the trunk. Original floor mat, looks good. I see no signs of quarter panel issues or anything like that in here. Looks pretty decent. And under the mat, you'll see in the photos that it does look pretty nice. I'm gonna pull it all up right now. What we did and we saw photos, no rust or anything like that at present. It does have a spare as well, which is out right now. So it all looks pretty good under here. Original stickers. And again, no rust or anything on the lip. It looks pretty decent. There's a little bit of mud work in these corners here. A little bit of stuff here. I don't know if I got a photo of that. I'll have to take a picture of that. So there's a little bit of, little bit of work here. Doesn't look like anything too major though. He's back here. And we will uh, pause for a second. We'll open the hood and we'll see what we got under there. Okay, here we have the 390. Proper S-code intake manifold. Exhaust manifolds are seem to be correct. Everything looks to be as it should for this car. Power steering, belts look pretty decent. This belt Right here it does have a little bit of a rip in it, so that might need to be replaced fairly soon. But aprons, I don't see any rust or any issues. All looks pretty nice. The rad looks good. The rad support looks good. I don't see any rust or rot or anything like that. I tested your battery. It was sitting at... Uh, almost 13. Uh, I'm going to test the charging system. I did not do that before the test drive, but we'll do that in a second. Tested your oil, come back with a green light, looks nice and clean. Transmission fluid also looks nice and clean with no major issues. So everything is looking pretty good. The coolant is a little, uh, mix a little light on the antifreeze side. It wasn't reading too high or too low. So we will have to, uh, remedy that but other than that it all looks pretty good again hood looks nice i don't see any rust in the lip or anything like that looks like a nice piece so there we go close the hood here so here we have 68 ford torino GT with a 390 S code as usual. Thanks for watching. This is AJ with Car Inspected, and we'll see you next time.